In the time it takes you to watch this next story, about 18 homes in this country will be burglarized. Now, do you want to help protect yourself from becoming a victim? Then the product Chris Anderson is testing this week might be the key, but does it work? New statistics came out last month showing crime in the Mid-South was down across the board, except one area, home burglaries. Thieves are literally kicking in your door and stealing your stuff. How can you stop them? This might be the answer. Door jam armor. But does it work? If you've been a burglary victim, you know how this feels. Local home builder Mark Brandon sure does. Just last week, actually, we had a situation where someone came and kicked in the back door and uh, it, they loaded the range up right through the garage in the, in the, in the middle of the day and, and, and took it. So when Mark saw this on the Door Jam Armor website, he was more than ready to try it out. I'm really interested to see how it looks, how it works, and if it works. Okay. But first, we have to navigate our way through six pages of instructions. Mark gets his assistant superintendent, Kevin Cook, to help out. <laughs> Good move. After 45 minutes of cutting, drilling, driving in screws, and a little TLC. Okay, so I think we're finished. We're ready to put door jam armor to the test. You ready? Mm, it's not moving at all. That's fun, incredible. isn't it? Yeah, I feel, I'm, I'm feeling stress roll right off. <laughs> This could be your, your stress reliever at work. Yes. I can't get the door open. I had to give it a shot. Jeez. <laughs> it's not moving. We need somebody bigger. Six, seven, two. about 2.30. That should do the trick. Just watch the windows when he kicks it. And that's a lot wow. of force. It is. Uh, that door's not coming open. Let's check for damage. And look at that. No damage to the door or to the door jam armor. Now that's impressive. I'm just so surprised, but I'm going to pass it. The door jam armor works. It really works. Door jam armor? You pass our does it work test. But wait. What you have in your hands, this is something that a police department, an actual police department, uses to get Correct. through doors. That's right. A battering ram. Door jam armor doesn't claim it can stop this kind of force, but we're about to find out just how tough it really is. I'm going to try to hit it right there. Okay, so here we go. We have a cliffhanger on tonight's Does It Work <laughs> over here. There's no way the door jam armor can withstand an actual police battering ram, or can it? Make sure you watch WREG News Channel 3 Daybreak tomorrow morning at 6. You have to get up early. Now, this is a video you definitely do not want to miss. Very interesting. Very interesting. Do you know it only takes about two to three kicks for a burglar to kick in a door, even ones with a deadbolt? Well, last night on Does It Work, the door jam armor was able to hold up against an onslaught of vicious kicks. But we like to take it to the extreme It Does It Work and go above and beyond the claims and expectations those products make and wait until you see this. Our kicks were no match for the door jam armor, okay. which is why it easily passed our does it work test, but we decided to kick it up a notch. What you have in your hands, this is something that a police department, an actual police department uses to get Correct. through doors. Right. This is something that uh, the, the local authorities might use to come in when it's necessary and uh, bar this. And I think that uh, we all think that this is going to at least have a different result in your foot. We're not exactly sure what's going to happen, but... So are we locked? Doors locked. locked. You're loaded. Still secure. <laughs> Let's uh, go. Don't try this at home. You, you've had some training. You know how to do this I thing. think so. So I'm going to try to hit it right there. Okay, so here we go. We've broken the door, but the door jam armor is held. Amazing. The door jam armor doesn't claim to stop that kind of forceful impact. But it sure did. Now, now, you have ten customers on the other side of this door ready to sign the deal and buy a home. All right. Let's but the only it. way you can get it is if you get through this door. Oh, it's going to be a bad day. <laughs> it's not going, it's not going to break. Finally, after several minutes of bailing away with the battering ram, the door itself cracks. Mark decides to finish the job. 
Hello. We bust through that strong fiberglass door, but despite this serious punishment... The door jam armor is really barely damaged. Now that's impressive. Impressive, indeed. Wow, it did impress me. Here's a the chunk of the wow. fiberglass door. So, uh, I, I wasn't up last night. Explain to me the door jam armor. That's something you put on the inside of the door and on the side of the door that yeah, on, the, on the door jam and then on the hinges. Okay. The, the problem with the um, why it's so easy to kick it in is the, it's so thin. Your door jam, the wood is just so thin. Right. Okay. And boom, they kick it right in so easily. So what this does, it reinforces it and makes it. Like you saw, impossible to kick in. That was pretty impressive. One hundred and twenty dollars. It was available at Lowe's.com or DJArmor.com. But we talked with the the inventor, the creator of this. He's been working with Lowe's to kind of push it up, push up the date. It was supposed to start selling it in stores in a few months. They're starting this morning. In oh, right. So so they're in Lowe's.